Hi everyone, welcome to Imaging Study. Today we are going to see a case of acute epididyma orchitis. We are checking the common cases not posted already in our channel and this one is one of them. A 63-year-old male patient came with right hemiscotal painful swelling. Let's see what we have got on ultrasound. Here you can see the grayscale image of right testis and epididymis. You can see the testis is swollen. It's quite a round in shape, not the typical oval one. It's a little bit hypoechoic, but due to the surrounding hydrocele, it may not be well appreciated. But if you look at the epididymis, it's swollen. It's quite easily understandable. Normally, during testicular ultrasound, you have to go posturally a little bit to see the epididymis quite well. But here you can easily see this structure. It's because of the swollen and heterogeneous appearance of the epididymis. We have recently posted a video about the testicular torsion. If I tell you that this is a testis and epididymis of a torsion case, you cannot deny seeing only this image. So whenever you are scanning the testis, you should use color Doppler to make a conclusion. Here's the left testis in comparison to the right one. It looks quite normal. You can see the epididymal head here, but whole of the epididymis that we have seen on the previous image is not like this one. Here's the picture of the right testis. It's around 14 cc. It may vary from patient to patient. My patient is an elderly one. This is the left testis. It's around 12 cc. So the size difference is not very much obvious here. It indicates that the main affected organ is the epididymis. Testis has been affected recently. Now let's put some Doppler over this testis. So we'll go with the normal one first. This is the left testis and we have adjusted our ultrasound machine. Make sure to always adjust the normal testis vascularity and then you will compare it with the abnormal one. So we have adjusted the vascularity. You can see some vascularity. We have adjusted the PRF here. So we'll compare it with the right one. Now with similar setting, this is the right testis. You can see prominent vessels within the testis and epididymis. The epididymis is more affected because the vascularity of the epididymis is more prominent here. If it was a case of torsion, there may not be any vascularity. Here's the picture. You can compare the normal left testis with the abnormal right one. You can see increased vascularity on similar setting in the right one. We appreciate that the epididymis is more affected here and you can see surrounding hydrocele. Make sure to check the debris and septations. They are very common due to inflammatory process. Here is the color Doppler image and you can see there is increased vascularity in the epididymis and upper part of the cord. These are prominent testicular vessels here and we want to take sample from this vessel. So here we are choosing the vessel and we took sample from this prominent testicular artery above the testis and you can see high velocity monophasic flow here. In normal cases, the testicular artery will show you less than 25 cm per second of flow. But here you can see the flow velocity is more than 30 cm per second with an increase in diastolic flow. Now let's check the right testis with curvilinear transducer. Here you can see the testis and surrounding hydrocele with a swollen epididymis. You can see that the testis is not much hypoechoic in comparison to the epididymis. So, we have already said that the epididymis was the first thing to get affected here. Now, we don't use curvilinear transducer to scan the testis in usual cases. 
As you can see, there is a good amount of hydrocell. We want to take 3D pictures. So this was a volumetric transducer and you can see an image of the testis here. This is the testis and this is the solen epididymis on 4 dimensional ultrasound. Here's the picture. You can see the acute epididymo orchitis on volumetric images. Another picture with different modes. Don't you like this type of images? If you have a 3D transducer and you get a patient with hydrocele, always try to practice 3D ultrasound to take this type of pictures. So, in summary, the right testis and epididymis are solen and hypoechoic with increased vascularity on Doppler. There is right sided mild hydrocele also. So, this feature is concluded as a case of right sided acute epididymo orchitis with mild reactionary hydrocele. Now, the take home message. In case of acute epididymo orchitis, use color Doppler. If you see any focal heterogeneous area devoid of color, it may be an abscess. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel and try to visit imagingstudy.com for more cases. See you on the next one. Have a nice day.